Hello everyone, welcome to another Mimeo Minis tutorial. In this session, I'm going to show you how to make a reverse family tree. So in a typical family tree, students have to drag vocabulary words onto a structure that already exists. In this case, my students have all the vocabulary words and they have some lines and some people and they need to put all the pieces together in a way that makes sense to them. So it's a more complex task than just the typical family tree activity. And I also like to add a, an element of competition here. So there are groups competing against each other to make different family trees as fast as possible. And of course, you can see that they have to collaborate and work together to get it done on time. Um, so you can also see that I have lines there, I have words, and then I have little figures like male and female, female figures for them to put next to each of the vocabulary words. So this is the final product. Um, this is quite simple to make. The first thing we need to do is make the squares or the shapes. Use the shape tool and I just drag to make a, a rectangle the size that I want. You don't have to do this, but I like to change the transparency here so that the color is a little bit softer. And then you just copy paste control C, control V to make a copy of that same shape. It's all uniform. There's nothing different about them. And then I'm going to make the line. So I select line from my shapes option and I like the line to be dotted or dashed and just so it looks cool. So I'm going to go ahead and draw that line here horizontally. And that's a little bit skinnier than I want. So I'm going to select it and I'm going to use the slider to change the size of the line. You have to play with it a little bit to get it just right. Once I have it the way that I want it, I'm going to copy paste and then change the orientation so I have a vertical line as well. And then I'm going to select those little figures. I already downloaded those images, the, the little boy and girl figures. So I'm just going to import both of those, change the size, and put, it over, put them over the other squares. Now I just right click each object and select clone. So once I clone it, I can now drag off identical copies of each item. The thing that's hard for students in class, with the mouse it's no problem, but in class is dragging off copies of the lines because you can see that it's a very skinny area that you have to select on. And if the, the board is not 100% calibrated, um, it can be very kind of frustrating for students trying to, to grab the line. So there's a little trick you can do. You can put a shape behind the line and make that shape transparent so it's basically invisible and that way students can grab the line and they actually have a bigger area that they can grab. So you can see I put a shape behind the line and I'm going to go ahead and change uh, the transparency to maximum 90% and change the color to white. So it's basically an invisible shape behind the line, group them together and now I have a bigger area that I, students can grab. And I'm going to go ahead and clone that. So now we're ready to go. Just lock all the items and you're ready to play basically. You can see now I can drag off copies of each of my shapes. Now I just need to put in the other pieces of the board. So I'm going to put in a another file, this boy here, and I'm going to label him me. And I'm going to kind of group all those things together so I can move it around. And then I'm going to write all the other vocabulary words that I want students to, to kind of put together. So we have all the pieces there. And I can put as many as I want, I mean, as long as there's space. The other thing you want to do is once you have your board the way you want, copy and paste the slide. So you can make a fresh slide. I mean, you can, you know, you can put a girl in there. You can change the vocabulary without having to start over with a brand new slide. So that's it. Make four or five slides and, and, uh, and then have students compete to put them together. It'll be a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed this.